Hello everyone, my name is Linda and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Instapot Omni Pro Toaster Oven and Air Fry Unit. We purchased this unit specifically for our Airbnb. So our hope for this unit is that it is going to completely replace uh, the need for an actual oven. As it is a short-term rental, uh, it doesn't need to fulfill like all the uses of an oven, but it needs to do the basics that someone would need. And while the Airbnb is not done at the time of filming this, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna try it out to make sure that it works so that we know it's good when we put it down there. Let's push this here. So first off, we've been hunting for an air fry, multi-use, does it all type oven. And we ended up settling on this one for a few different reasons. First, it's one of the biggest. Yeah. And it has the most functions. Yeah. The other one that was close to this one was the Ninja XL Deluxe Pro something 14 in one. Yeah. And we just ended up getting a wicked awesome deal on this one. So can't say no to deals. Can't say no to a wicked awesome deal. I feel like Instant always has good deals. Like Instant Pot, uh, Instant yeah. Air Fryers, Instant. These things are always like killer deals. And that Instant, like the Instant company, the Instant Pot, we have personally an Instant Pot. We have the Air Fry attachment for our Instant Pot. No problems. I've had it for years and we absolutely love it. So I believe in the brand. All right, so let's get into it. And we are also going to have an affiliate link down in the description below. So if you watch this and you love it and you think it's going to be the best fit for you as well, uh, go down below, check out that link. It will be there for you. Dig in. The knife. We got instruction manual. Oh, that's good. Not gonna read those. Other Just kidding, read your instruction manual. Very important. What's that? Oh, so this is, and you can hook it up. This is a thermometer. You put it into the meat and it tells me when it's done. Well then. Cool. Yeah. All this awful styrofoam. The air fry great. Let's see if I can move this here so we can show. So everything's actually really nicely packaged in here, as most appliances usually are. Oh. I got it. Chicken rotisserie. Ah, yeah. ah. No grab scissors. Okay. Those are for rotisseries. For the chicken. It's it will be nice because while well, we're not gonna put rotisserie skewers probably in the Airbnb because it won't be necessary. It's oh. nice to have it because when the Airbnb is not in use or around big holidays, this is an extra oven for us even, like if we're cooking a lot of meals. Um, it's nice to just have that, you know. We in might basement. include, if somebody rents it during Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. then maybe we'll leave it in there. But other than that. Do you have a cooking tray? It's so intense. Air fry basket. Like. What's that even? I don't know what that is. It's just like one of those things they test for water. I wonder if that's to pull the tray out. Mm, maybe. That would be smart. It would be smart. This is also a rotisserie thing I think they put through the chicken. I think so. And then obviously I saw that right. You can push it out. Ooh. It literally looks like an oven. It is an oven. That is the toaster tray. That's a good thing. If we act a little crazy today, we haven't eaten yet. <laughs> we're, we're putting this together so we can eat dinner. Okay. If there's no plastic on the inside, that's always a thing. It's a heavy unit, which I like that because you don't want it to be easily like the fragile feeling. So it feels really sturdy. The door feels like an oven door, like it's got a good solid click to it. So this 
We'll bring it back real quick because I got the old things here. Yep. This is to lift the rotisserie out. Lift the rotisserie out. That's, That's That makes sense. This thing here. Like that. Oh, gotcha. Get your chicken out of the oven. That makes... Beautiful. Yeah. So, we are going to... That's perfect put the tray in it. Cause Which also, while you're doing that, yep. uh, put it in there. Put it in? Yeah. Because when you lift up the thing, Nothing. just lift. It looks like these are the levels for depending on what you're doing. Oh. That's the level you put your thing at. So, if I want to broil it, I put it at the top. Air fry is there, which is probably then like an air fry basket would sit right on that thing. Roast, bake, warm, and then slow cook or proof. This thing even has a proofer. Mm. We pay extra for our regular oven to have a proof option on it for when I make bread. Let me read you a quote. Ooh, a quote. We all eat, and it would be a sad waste of opportunity to eat badly by M. Thomas. Legit. Ah, here we go. So you have to uh, click on what you want. Touch the time field. Touch the time field. Up and down button. Use your okay. error. This is why we have an instructor manual. Read the instructor manual. Hit touch to begin. Hit start? Yeah. You said hit touch. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay, start. Okay. On the status bar shows preheating. That's great. There. It does, okay. So this is our initial test run. This is like to burn it's off. Fun. You can smell it. Which is why we made the decision to trial run the machine. Not just to obviously make sure that it works, but to get rid of that smell because we have big windows. We can open the windows up here on our main floor, but having that smell fresh down in our Airbnb would be very, very unpleasant. So we're gonna use it a couple times before it makes its way down there. Plus, if something's gonna go wrong, hopefully it would go wrong right in the beginning. Yeah. And we bought a two-year extended warranty, so we have three years for this. So if you have an Airbnb, that might be something to consider, is it's gonna get a lot of use. Uh, it was $50 to Canadian extra to get the extra two years. So I think with the deal, it made it worth it for us. Yeah. All right, we have now done the 20 minute cooking time. It automatically goes into a keep warm cycle. Um, which is fantastic. We set off our fire alarm three times. Uh, we're having the builder take a look at that because using one of these should not set off your fire alarm. But yeah. It does stinky when you first use it, yes. but that's just normal first time appliance use. So it's yeah. on keep warm, so all you're going to do is cancel to stop it. And now it's mm -hmm. done. It has a cute little light in it too. It does. It but we have... We're gonna try some of these. They're like a spinach and cheese. Spinach and feta. I was just saying to Linda, this is great for anyone who maybe lives in a very small apartment that maybe doesn't even have an oven in their unit. Um, I don't know if this is for someone who has an oven and a toaster oven. To get one of these seems like you need kind of like, I don't know. This might be cute for like, it's like a grown up easy bake oven. <laughs> I think it's also a really great option to like, if, like you said, like, I think I don't, my brother lives in a small, like, one bachelor bedroom. suite, yeah. not even one bedroom. It's just a bachelor suite. I'm not sure he has an oven. He might just have cooktops. This is a really great option because you can cook a pizza in it, like a 12 inch pizza. You can, Obviously, you saw all the rotisserie pieces. You can cook a whole rotisserie chicken in it. Uh, that's heated up already, so it's quick. And, yeah. Anybody wondering about build quality? It's built really well. Feels yeah. like a legit micro oven. The handle feels very sturdy, uh, well it's built. Heavy. Yeah, no weird gaps or anything like that. The screen came very clean. Uh, fingerprints, not big, that big of a deal. Uh, mm -hmm. Only when the screen is off could I see maybe a little bit of smudging, but I don't think that's going to be uh, too big of a deal. All right, we're going to keep an eye on it because it is at 400 degrees. 
I think only need about half the amount. Yeah, like five minutes would be plenty. Since the shoe's already warm. Yeah. Well, those are air fried. All right. Yeah, maybe it was more time than needed, but like the tops are really crispy. Yeah, definitely air fried. Definitely air fried, without a doubt. I like it. Okay. Well, next thing we're gonna try. Yeah, next thing we're gonna do is pizza. Pizza. We went out for pizza last night. We had famosos, which was delicious. And Famoso's instructions on how to reheat their pizza is to turn your oven to 400 degrees and cook it for two, two minutes. minutes. We'll let it preheat. We had some pretty delicious pizza. I don't remember what they were, but one has olives, mushrooms, and salami. And the other one, hear this out, had Brussels sprouts, dates, walnuts and honey this is very good pizza and realistically like the people who are going to be using our airbnb while there is going to be the occasional like longer stay person the people who are staying are people who are here for work they're here for a weekend Usually, these people are not using an oven. Usually the microwave will be adequate, they're making sandwiches, uh, they're eating out. Uh, especially a lot of companies, when they send employees out to stay somewhere, they get an LOA, which is a living out allowance, and that usually affords them being able to eat out. So this unit is gonna be more than enough for what the people staying here are actually going to need. But to be able to throw in a pizza and, you know, have that cooked is, is a really easy and convenient option. We're going to move it down to two minutes so that we don't overcook like we did our last one because it's recommended two minutes. We'll hit start. It looks so good down there. I got good bricks. That does look good. It's right back to crunchy state where you want your pizza to be. All right, we're gonna have a snack, supper, pizza, some salad, some over air fried bites, which I'm excited for because they are delish. Well, we're gonna okay. give the unit some time to cool off and then we'll share some closing thoughts. So when I put the two pieces of bagel in, it said two pieces, gave me a time, and then it was a higher toast level. So I changed the toast level down one. And I don't know if it senses two pieces or you can change how many pieces of toast are in at a time. Um, but we're gonna, it was like five minutes. So let's see what the bagels look like in 10 seconds here. Yeah, it's toasted. This is Linda's toasted. All right, so we slept on it, and, oh, this looks awesome. We realized that air frying a couple leftovers was just not enough of a, like, really strong, yes, this thing is awesome. So we wanted to add cookies to the mix, because while I don't think anyone's ever gonna make cookies, I, I think baking is a really sound like affirmation that this does indeed replace an oven. So we're gonna make some cookies. We're making good old classic chocolate chip. And we'll see if this thing can do what an oven really should do. It's hot. It definitely cooks a little bit hotter than a typical oven does. I'm gonna say it's probably just because it's smaller and the heat is a little bit more concentrated. I do wonder if a part of that has to do with the fact that we're using like the cooking tray. Um, whereas when the time comes 
we'd be able to use like the wire rack like a typical oven with I have like a small gold cookie tray that I would be decluttering to the basement. I think that will create like more airflow amongst the entire oven as opposed because the the tray blocks almost like splits the oven in half so uh, these cookies look great uh, it is a small oven so not all of the batter the cookie batter could fit onto one tray so I'm gonna pop the second batch right in there and make some more cookies but all in all I'm gonna say cookies in the instant Omni Pro total win. I can imagine baking of all kind is going to be successful in there. And who knows? Then you might just need a second oven to put the pie in. All right, so we have another opportunity to use the Omni Pro just to figure out if it really does everything that it says it can do. Right. Try to keep the oven as clean as possible. Maybe the chicken has to go higher up. Let me some chicken. No, you, what? It's gonna rotate, right? Yeah. So whether you put it in that way or the other way, it's gonna hit the bottom. Does I know, this, but I'm trying to get. Does this need to be higher up on the chicken? It's not touching the top. It's not hooked in. Hold on. All right, so the rotisserie part of this, we are not gonna do. It's uh, it's a mess. It. I could see if maybe we had like a really tiny piece of meat. Um, then that would be feasible. Or string to tie this into a chicken torpedo. Yeah, like if we could like seriously wrap the chicken, uh, maybe it would be better, but we don't have like meat twine, butcher's twine, whatever you want to call it. So um, I'm going to say the rotisserie portion is very hit or miss. So we're going to Instapot it instead. Rotisserie, not the reason to buy this thing. These are my final thoughts on the Insta Omni Pro. I'm going to call it an oven. This unit is so cool that Jason actually said, it's a pity it's going in the basement. But this thing really does do it all. It bakes, it broils, it toasts. It truly is, in my opinion, a complete replacement for an oven. If you have a full house and you have an oven, then this thing might be a little overkill if all you need is like a basic toaster, which is what we use our toaster oven for. Maybe you live in a bachelor suite or you're renting out a space and you want to put in your own like mini kitchen other than needing like maybe a hot plate or two this literally fulfills the use of an oven the fact that it can cook nine cookies or a small chicken or a 12 inch pizza i feel beyond confident that this is going to meet all of the needs that any of our Airbnb guests are going to have during their stays with us, both short stays as well as long stays. I think the only disclaimer that I would say about it, if you were to buy it and start using it, is that it is definitely hotter than maybe a typical oven would be. It's definitely a lot of concentrated heat we did find that things like the cookies or air frying that we either didn't need as hot or didn't need as long. So 350, probably get away with 320, 325, 400, 375 would probably be adequate. And the eight minute cookies only needed six minutes. 
in a big batch and four minutes, which is crazy in a little batch. So I give this 100% thumbs up. If you are looking for a mini oven, a second mini oven, this is 100% the one that you should look into. I have also included an affiliate link down below in the description of this video. Amazon has them at pretty great prices, so I would take a peek down there. If you enjoyed this video and it has been helpful in helping you make an educated decision on which tiny oven you should buy, then go down below, hit the like button, and subscribe. I do a lot of videos on this channel relating to either specifically our Airbnb project or topics like minimalism, decluttering, cleaning, and other lifestyle stuff. While you're there, also check out these two videos that YouTube thinks that you will love. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!